Fire Mama Njambi, born and raised in one of the toughest ghetto in Nairobi, Kawangware. Reggae music spoke to me, our hearts, souls, and gave us solace and much joy. I dreamt of becoming a top news anchor, but destiny had a different freedom in store. My passion for reggae led me to explore different things, and I ended up in broadcast journalism, as well as a third degree in international relations in French. I wanted to explore the world through diplomacy and a peace, but the call of reggae couldn't be silenced. I became a voice for the people, a voice of the people, training as an MC. I started out in downtown Nairobi, clubs such as Camel, York House, Entice, Pink Elephant Club, phonics achievers where i honed my skills my fan base grew nationwide spreading the reggae spirit i shared stages and performed with musicians like don carlos black uhuru morgan heritage turbulence richie spice etana and damian Marley. i worked at metro fm all the time reggae station that segmented my name in the kenyan reggae space Metro Farms closure could not dampen my spirit. Silently battling endometriosis, I fought through adversity, never losing my passion. Jambi battled endometriosis for 19 years, and she once said the delay often allows the disease to spread through the body, leading to additional complications and suffering. She used this disease as an advocacy tool, urging the female parliamentarians that they must treat endometriosis with seriousness, deserved by pushing the enactment of laws that will declare it a national disaster. She even said period pain is not normal. And it's time we stop normalizing it. We must break the silence surrounding endometriosis and ensure that those affected receive the support, care they deserve. I overcame 21 surgeries and in 2020, I returned to stage reclaiming my love for reggae. I carried the reggae flame, igniting hearts and connecting souls across the country. This is... Ada TV. We give our condolences to our reggae queen, Mary Jambi Koi Kai, aka Fire Mama Jambi.